What's up everybody? Today we're going to talk about three materials that are perfect for getting started on your CNC. They're easy to machine, they're inexpensive, and it won't hurt your wallet when you mess them up. Stick around to the end, I'm going to give out a fourth one that you've probably never even thought about. Let's get into it. All right, so we're going to start these materials off starting with number three and counting down. My number three best product for CNC is three quarter inch plywood. The only reason it's num number three is because there is a considerable cost getting into a sheet of plywood. In my area, it's $75 to $80 for a nice sheet of Baltic birch, three quarter inch plywood, uh, something in that neighborhood. Uh, and you want to spend the money on plywood. The, more, the nicer the plywood, the less voids that you'll find in it, uh, the better it's going to machine. You can do tons of products. There's people making products out of plywood all over the place, from flat pack furniture to flags, plaques, all sorts of stuff. I've made tons of stuff out of plywood. Uh, one cool trick is to paint it before you machine it, and you'll have nice color separation. You can put aura mask down and color fill it. Uh, it's really a great product, especially for beginners all the way up to advanced users. All right, counting this down to number two, best product for starting out with the CNC, edge glued panels. You'll find them at Home Depot, Lowe's. They call them project panels. You can find them online. Uh, this one is pine. You can also get these in teak, I believe. Uh, and you can even find them online as edge glued panels in different, uh, different species of wood, but they're great. They're already flattened, machined flat. So, and, and wide. So you don't have to worry about having, whether or not you have a joiner and a planer and all that stuff, uh, to make you a nice wide panel. Uh, and they're not cost prohibitive. This panel here, uh, twice this size is about 25 bucks. Uh, so it's something, uh, fairly inexpensive that you can get started on your CNC right away. All right, we've arrived. My number one best material for CNC, especially for beginners, uh, is MDF. So MDF, or medium density fiber board, uh, is very inexpensive. It's what the uh, most of your spoil boards are made out of, uh, but it machines very well, it's inexpensive, it, uh, it's very forgiving. Uh, if you uh, mess up a depth and cut way deeper than you probably should be with a, with a, with a specific bit, uh, it's pretty forgiving. It'll usually uh, just tear out and won't break the bit. But you can make a ton of products with this. If you finish this cor the correct way, and there are tons of videos out there, I'll probably make one uh, down the road on how to finish this and paint it you can make some amazing products out of it. Uh, some great signs, all sorts of trinkets. Um, it, it works really well. I use it a lot for epoxy pouring uh, as, a, as a substrate to, to mill out and then fill with epoxy. And then uh, it works great. Uh, and that's why it is my number one best material for beginners to get started on CNC because you can get started today. You can go to your home store, pick up a, a two foot by four foot piece of uh, half inch MDF or three quarter inch MDF. This half inch sheet uh, is only about 25 bucks. You can get a four by eight sheet and save even more money. So number one, MDF. All right, hopefully you've stuck around long enough to see my four, number four or bonus uh, pick for best materials for CNC and it's something that you might not think about for a CNC but people have been using it in woodworking for a very long time making inexpensive products especially for the outdoors and that's cedar fence pickets. Cedar fence pickets are super inexpensive they're anywhere from two to five dollars depending on where you're at. Uh, they work great in the elements it's a super soft wood that can be machined down uh, machined very easily and very forgiving if you mess up you didn't spend a lot of money, so it's not going to hurt your feelings. Um, you, if you have a, a joiner and a planer, it's very easy to glue these up and make a panel so you can make larger uh, projects. But if not, you can always make 
right out of the gate products that are about five inches wide and six foot long. Uh, and with an orbital sander, it, they sand down very smooth, very quickly without a lot of work. That's what makes this my bonus material. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. Uh, if you saw something interesting, uh, then maybe hit that subscribe button. There's going to be a video coming out soon that you're not going to want to miss with those cedar fence pickets. I'm going to show you three products that you can make on your CNC that are great for outdoors, patios, front doors. Uh, it's going to be fun. So stick around and we'll catch you on the next one.